Hello everybody, this is me, my unboxing fan here today, and today I'm going to have the unboxing of the Sony Smartwatch 3 powered by Android Wear. Now, this smartwatch is made by Sony, as I just said, and this version is the metal version. Okay, this watch weighs at 45 grams and it has a display of 1.6 inches transflective display with a 320 by 320 pixel inch screen. Even though it says on the front that this is a Android Wear, I'm pretty sure by looking at the reviews online that this smartwatch is also compatible with an iPhone. So this thing has a smart Bluetooth connection. It also has a near full communication, which means that you can tap your phone against the smartwatch and presumably it will take all your information from your smartphone and put it on the smartwatch. You also have Wi-Fi in the smartwatch. So this smartwatch is able to, is able to work on Wi-Fi connection. Um, it also has a IP68 display. So all that sharp and fluid activity which you will be seeing on the smartwatch will be displayed in such an, a high and high resolution display. The smartwatch has GPS. You also have internal memory of four gigabytes, which is very good for storing pictures and things like music. And you also have uh, when you charge the device, it will last up to two days, which is very important and very unique because smartwatches, you, you know, if you want a smartwatch, you want it to be like a watch. Okay, you don't want to have the fuss of um, kind of charging it every single day or whatever, or charging it every single hour. You want it, you want it to be a smartwatch so it can function just like a watch, but with extra features in it, which is very important in this field. So at the back of the watch, it just says that powered by Android Wear, notification voice commands, life log and impressive standalone functions. So it basically logs your life as well, so like how many steps you've done, etc. It's really, really amazing. Um, so if you look here, it just tells you here, you know, almost home. So it tells you like the notifications you can get at the back of the watch as well. So if we just peel this back, as it states, it just basically tells us... Yeah, so it's basically like a mini manual, as you can see. And this mini manual, as you can see, it just tells you how to power up, the f how to power up and how to um, kind of connect it with your phone. I'm not sure if it's compatible with an iPhone, but from the reviews that I've read, again, it might be. On the other side of the box, it clearly states that it's powered by Android 4.3, and you can obviously get, scan this barcode here to give you further information. So now we're going to start to open the box of the smartwatch, and let's see what's inside this actual watch. No idea how to actually open this box. Oh, this is very, very long. Right. Okay, there it is. I think you pull this backwards. Okay, if I'm right. Okay, and you can see that the security seal has been breached. So that's a sign that everything I'm doing is completely right. Okay. And here we go, the watch itself. So as you can see, the watch is there, it's very, very nicely shown, as you can see. Um, this watch, first impressions, without taking, without touching it, actually, I'm touching it now. But I can clearly see that this watch looks really amazing, it looks really unique, it looks just so elegant. And I really, really just like this watch and how it looks, and how it's different from others. You know, it's not just a basic silicone strap where it just gets dirty. It's a metal strap. It gives it that premium look and premium finish. And that's one of the reasons why I actually bought this watch because it looks really nice and just amazing. Let's just tuck it now and see what's actually because I'm eager to know what's inside. Okay, again, problems with the box. Don't know how to open it. Okay, so you just press, press these two clips on the side and it pulls the watch up. Put that to the side. Let's see what's inside the box. So here we get... Um, just a thing like an iPhone, you see the tab you pull up, similar here. So you pull that up so you can take all the manuals out, as you can see. So this is the Sam Smartwatch uh, 3 manual. Okay, so it just gives you how to remove the strap and things like that. Yep, that was right. And how you can connect it to your computer and how you can use all Google, Google services on it as well, which is pretty amazing. Okay, again, no one reads this, so I will not be reading that. Okay, um... This is basically another manual in a different language, which I don't need. And this one tells you the power of your to-do list is now on your wrist. Which is pretty amazing because I tend to write a lot of things like all my to-do list. I list uh, I literally write them on my phone and my notes and my memo. I'm like, okay, do this by this, you know, finish this piece of work by this time. Now, I when I have the smartwatch, this will be on my hand, you know, so my phone might be out of battery. This will be my alternative. The to-do list on your smartwatch is something which is essential and I think everyone needs. It also has um, SR, SAR information. I don't know what that is, but just like declarations and manuals. In the box, there is a little charging adapter. 
Okay, as you can see, there's not even a wrist band or anything. There's this little charging adapter. And finally in the box, we get this little kind of chain link here, as you can see. Okay, we get this little uh, chain link. So this, I think this is like, if you find out that your watch is too big or too small, you can literally take it out, take pieces out of the watch and kind of make it fit in your hand, which is very essential and very and something that I actually need myself. So let's look at the watch itself, because I think everyone is actually dying to look at the watch. It's like, oh my god, hurry up and speak, and let me just look at the bloody watch. Okay, I get it. <laughs> anyway, let's look at the... Ooh, okay, so it just comes right off. And exactly like a normal watch, there's nothing, you know, if I literally turn the screen off, I think no one will recognise that this is not a watch. Anyway, um, let's just see now how it works. Oh, I'm not going to make a review of it now, but let's just peel this back off. It looks very nice, as you can see. And let's just power it on. We can clearly see there's a power button right here, I'm guessing, hopefully. And there's a charger. Where you put your charger in is found right down at the bottom here. Um, you pull this tab off here and your charger import is revealed there. So let's just power up the watch now and see the first impressions of the watch. Okay, again, I feel a vibration and it says Sony. So you can see that. And it says Smartwatch 3. Okay. Um, it looks much better today guys, don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and if you want any questions to do with watch that you want me to mention in the video, in the review, then feel free to let me know. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video guys, have a nice one and bye, subscribe.